Hello, God bless you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I pray you're having a blessed and beautiful and wonderful day in the Lord Jesus. So it's me, Crystal for Jesus, back again with another video. We are watching LaVon. What's the channel name? Uh, what I do here is I, sh I share dreams and visions uh, from God. He said in the last days he would pour out his spirit on all flesh. His sons and daughters shall prophesy. His young men shall see visions and his old men shall dream dreams. So I am just heeding the call. And this is what we're doing. Dreams and visions flying off everywhere. Hundreds of people, thousands of people that uh, are sharing. So she had a dream of the rapture and she shows the detail God showed. And it's truly amazing. And she uh, had to do this. She's at work and uh, she felt very urgently that she needed to do this, the video immediately. And so we will hear some background noise, but that's because she is doing it at work. So um, we just uh, give her some praise for, um, you know, just even making the time and to just try to do it, try to do it, you know, be urgent and uh, hopefully everything will be fine. You know, she has some music in the back, but um, it should be fine. So let's get into this, you guys. Two days ago, I had a dream. I've never had this dream before. Um, my Sorry if you hear noises in the background because I am in my shop and this was the best time for me to record this. Um, so any background noises would be coming from outside, etc. But I have to do this now rather than wait because I've waited long enough. I had this dream on Monday the 23rd of July and I had it in the morning and morning dreams for me are extremely significant they either happen the way I've dreamt it or there's some sort of um, significance to it in respect to what may happen or there's some interpretation to it something or the other it has meaning and I've not had this dream before and look it's been two days since I've recorded this and I just had to do it now. Holy Spirit is telling me to not wait anymore. I wrote it down and I shared it on my social media platform. But I guess it's time for me to record it. So it's out there for you to listen to. But I dreamt of the rapture taking place. I've done all my crying. I... Oh, in the last 48 hours, I've just done a lot of thinking, soul searching, um crying um, so much because that's how intense and detailed this dream was so I'll get right into it um, in my dream there's a first bit but I won't go into that I'm just gonna tell you how the rapture happened now I'm with someone um, she's my sister and we were sitting in a mall an open mall and there were lots of people milling about, walking around, sitting down. And we were sat there and suddenly this big visual, like a massive, massive TV screen opens up in the sky. And I saw a slideshow of things first. I won't cover that because that's a bit personal. But as soon as I saw the last slide, immediately this massive everything just changed because Jesus appeared and he was riding a white horse um, it was truly amazing he was sitting on this white horse looking so fierce and majestic and um, powerful authoritative authoritative um, all these things that your God Almighty is but yet he was just oozing with love. You could feel his love through all of that. And alongside of him to his left and right, he was flanked by other horses with his angels on them. 
Now, all this is happen happening simultaneously. I get up when I see this immediately. I go, Jesus, Jesus, you've come for us. And I get up and I start walking. And as I'm walking, though, this big, my arms are outstretched in praise and worship. And I'm just calling Jesus, Jesus. And I'm happy and elated. And it's this feeling of joy right through me. And as I'm, I've taken a few steps now, and immediately I see this beautiful, beautiful castles behind him, what I believe would be the kingdom of heaven, because it was glowing and shiny, and there was gold, and this was all behind Jesus. And immediately I hear laughing, like people mocking me. And the laugh was getting louder and louder as I was calling Jesus and tears streaming down my face. So I stop and I want to turn to look, but my body couldn't turn. My arms are still outstretched in praise. My body wouldn't move. It was supernatural. And so I look down to look at my feet. And as I look down, my shoes are gone and I'm not on the ground anymore. I'm already starting to ascend. But the int more interesting part is my toes are turning light. It's bright light with blue haze, blue hues. But you can still see my toes and my feet, but it's all changing. And it's this has blown me away. And I'm looking at this and I see parts of my legs start to change. And immediately this sadness takes over my heart, my mind. I start thinking of my family. And in, and same time, I think, oh my gosh, my phone is in my left hand. Maybe I can call them and tell them to repent now before it's too late. And the moment I think too late, I look at my hand my fingers are turning they light now with the blue hues and that's coming up my arm my phone drops away but in that same moment I see the other millions of people that are ascending their phones all drop out of their hands as well their devices and at that very very moment my memory is erased everything that I know of earth is erased I remember nothing more no family no nothing of mine on earth all I feel now within me is joy and happiness and I'm crying because crying tears of joy because I know I'm going to heaven I know I'm going to be with my Lord and Savior and at that moment when I'm feeling that elation and that joy I wake up now like I said when I first dreamt this and I woke up, I was crying. I've spent the last two days just crying every time I think about it. Um, but it's changed something in me. I am more confident and more bold now. I went into prayer the moment I woke up. Lord, thank you for showing me that. But Father, I pray for my family, my friends everybody that I love and now I'm going to be more vocal about the things that you know more vocal about Jesus more vocal about the gospel more vocal about what's on the other side and now you know what you do with this information is entirely up to you but it's changed something in me in how I'm going to approach life now Jesus is coming soon and if you haven't made him your personal Lord and Savior Please, my friend, my family, my loved one, make him your Lord and Savior. That means accepting him, into, accepting him into your heart, fully, truly believing that he is the Son of God. He died for you. He was resurrected by the all-powerful Holy Spirit. And he is alive, interceding for you today. And he will be coming back for his bride, the church, his people. Lots of people make fun of us. Like I said, do with this information what you will. But I pray that you will look further into this and you will call on Jesus to be your personal Lord and Savior. And if you're a Christian watching this, and if you've got one foot on the other side, one foot here, one foot there, you look warm, knuckle down now. And remember, time is short. Jesus is coming very, very soon. God bless you all, and I hope this message reaches people because God didn't give me this dream for no reason. Everything has a purpose. God bless you all.
Amen. Wow. <sighs> Everything has a purpose. Jesus is coming soon. One of these days, we are just going to vanish. We are going to vanish. And it's going to be that. It's going to be it. It's going to be it. And Jesus said that it was going to be as in the days of Noah, okay? You're going to be eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage, people having dreams. It's just a normal day. And bam. And for some of us, it might be the brink of war right when the rapture happens, you know, depending on where you are in the world. It's going to be a normal day for one, and it's going to be the brink of war for another. Because Jesus said that there were going to be wars and rumors of wars. You know, like that's a normal thing. <laughs> so glory to God and for the sister and her sharing and giving out the warning and the heeding that we need to be prepared. Amen. What'd you guys think? What'd you guys think of her dream? We can be so busy with life and make excuses for not making a video. She's not making any excuses to God. She's like, I know God that I have time right now at work to make a video. And she's like, yeah, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Because what matters to you, well, you will make time for You'll make time for what really matters to you. Amen. Well, if you guys made it to the end of this video, I love you very much. And I really appreciate all of you that have continuously been watching and commenting on like all the videos. And you guys are so sweet. You, you're always commenting at the end. Um, let me know that... Uh, you you made it all the way to the end and uh you guys are really sweet and i i love you and thank you so much for being here with me and helping me through this ministry and um i just wanted to say that you know i'm just being me and uh i think my whole you know there's been some people who have commented about the way that i talk or my headphones or whatever they want to say that they you know well you like you say like and you know too much you say like too much or i can't watch you because i you, you're you, those headphones remove the headphones you know and it's like i'm not here i'm not a professional i'm not trying to be a professional i'm just somebody who loves jesus and i'm just going to be that person that loves Jesus and follows Jesus. And I don't want to be a professional. I just want, I just want to feel like you're chilling with me. You're hanging out with me. We're watching movies together, <laughs> you know, and it's like, I'm your friend in Christ, you know, and we're watching these together. We're sharing this. And, um, yeah, I just want it to be like chill. We're being chill. We're being comfortable. We're just being the normal people. We're normal people, you know, experiencing and having these dreams and visions from God. You know, we're not anybody special. We're just ran random normal people, you know, in the world. And that's the way it's going to stay. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep being me. Keep being casual. <laughs> and uh, keeping it real. Keeping it positive. And yeah. So. I pray you're having a blessed day. I pray that you are getting into your word. And that you are doing something for Jesus and uh, ignoring the naysayers, ignoring the nitpickers. And uh, yeah, just keep trucking along. So 
I love you guys, and I'll see you guys again soon in the next one. Wait, did I tell you to leave something below? I don't think I did. Leave below in the comments some cheetahs. For this sister, she's got some cheetah prints. So leave some cheetahs or leopards down below. And I'll see you guys again soon in the next one. Bye!